let's go outside, let's take a walk in the sun. There are things to learn and things to see. A big wide world for you, your dog, and me. Dog Talk. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Dog Talk. I'm Pat Becker. You know my co-host, Rusty. And we have Haley and Thomas and Seth with us and Daryl. Now, you all sent in this picture that was absolutely precious. Uh, of all the pictures of dogs and kids, this would probably be my favorite. Wow. It was something that was so precious, and we just really enjoyed seeing it. It was something that everybody would like for their kids to experience with their dog. <laughs> Just a huge, sweet guy with a darling baby. So where did you get this dog? Uh, we got him from uh, Okie Pops, uh, Jeanette Zeller, uh -huh. uh, over there in, uh, in Jones, Oklahoma. Uh -huh. And so he is a Labradoodle, I would assume. That's correct. And uh, the color I love, it's almost like a golden doodle. It's just, it's precious. It looks a great deal like, I, I would, it would be hard for me to tell if he one to run from the other, but he is so special. Great disposition, just absolutely adorable. Mm -hmm. And so when you got him, uh, did you get him as a puppy then? Mm-hmm, yeah, we, uh, we kind of uh, picked out a litter and, um, um, uh, went there and picked him out at four uh -huh. weeks and then came and picked him back up to yeah. take home at, at eight weeks. <laughs> well, and so did you have Thomas at the same time? No, he was about a year, two years old when Thomas was born. When Thomas right? was born. Yeah. That's right, that's so, right. So he, he, was, he was the baby for he was a while. Our, yeah, our first yeah. born. <laughs> and, of course he, and of course, these dogs uh, are bred so well. I, I love them as family dogs. And of course, anything that's with lab or golden, something like that, the combination is always excellent. So um, have you decided, and these dogs can do so much, have you decided what you want to do with them? No, uh, not, not yet? Not yet, no. There's a lot of activities. <laughs> well, but there's a lot of one. things to do. Well, we have made him the dog of the week, and this is a $100 gift certificate to A1 Pet Emporium. Fantastic. And and we have some toys for him that will be just really fun, I think, to play with. And so uh, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, um, we'd maybe like to talk to you about activities. OK. OK? Yeah. We're going to be right back. Mm -hmm. A1 Pet Emporium is Oklahoma's authority on healthy nutrition for dogs and cats. Quality does not have to cost more, and we only have the best. If your pet suffers from allergies, digestive issues, skin infections, or hair loss, it may be the result of their diet. A1 Pet Emporium can help. We offer pet portraits monthly, adorable rescue animals every Saturday from noon to four, and free dog and cat food samples. Locally owned and operated, we want to be your neighborhood pet store. Each year, a shelter of this size houses 140 animals. Each of them lost, abandoned, or surrendered by their owners. If the parents of these animals had been spayed or neutered, this shelter would be empty today. There are lots of reasons people don't spay or neuter their pets. They think it costs too much, and yet there are so many low-cost spay and neuter clinics that can help you afford to do the right thing. People think they can make money breeding their dogs. They soon find out that they lose money. Breeding should be left to professionals, whose mission is to improve their breed of dog. Some people just keep putting it off. Then one day, their female gets out of the yard and is accidentally bred. How sad. I've just adopted this big guy right here, and I'm gonna name him Bruno. Bruno's heartworm tested, rabies vaccinated, and he's been neutered, which is gonna prevent potential medical issues. Plus, he's gonna stray less, he's gonna mark his territory less, and he's gonna be the same old dog. Neutering makes sense. Some of the animals here today will be adopted by families who are willing to take responsibility of their care and make them a loving part of their family. But in some shelters, healthy, innocent pets like those will die simply because of overcrowding. People who don't spay and neuter their pets are contributing to this problem. Please, tell your friends and neighbors. Help us spread the word. A1 
one Pet Emporium is Oklahoma's authority on healthy nutrition for dogs and cats. Quality does not have to cost more, and we only have the best. If your pet suffers from allergies, digestive issues, skin infections, or hair loss, it may be the result of their diet. A1 Pet Emporium can help. We offer pet portraits monthly, adorable rescue animals every Saturday from noon to four, and free dog and cat food samples. Locally owned and operated, we want to be your neighborhood pet store. So we have put together a kind of a montage of sports that you might be inspired by for Daryl, something that he could do. So would you like to see him? Sounds fantastic. You can make your choice. All right. Let's do it. Wow. Is that impressive or what? That's some cool stuff. Well, you have your choice. What do you think? Well, we've um, we've kind of looked at a few of those. I, I knew about agility, but I hadn't known about um, all, all the, the rest all of those things. So, what do you think? Um, you know, from talking to uh, Haley and and little Thomas, we, we're kind of leaning towards uh, therapy dog work. Therapy dog work couldn't be better. Well, guess what? We can fix that. Come in here, Barb. Hi, Hi, how there. are you? This yeah, is you this is Barbara Lewis, and she just happens to train therapy dogs. Fantastic, I'm sorry. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice what do you too. think, Barb? I think that this would be a great dog. You know, one of the advantages of a dog this big is people don't have to bend over. They're right here at your yes, heist to, meet to be and able to this pet kind of thing. Them. And I noticed that he was really in, tuned in to a stranger here. Exactly. And that's another thing that we look for is dogs that really enjoy being petted by strangers. Yes, yes. So he has all the makings of this. He I does. think it's a good choice. Okay. So guess what? Dog Talk will sponsor you in therapy dog training. 
Sounds great. Are you willing to go through it? It's not easy. Yeah, I've, it I've takes heard what? There's... How long? Well, six, six weeks. Six, six weeks week course. course. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, so we'll do it. We're we're all in. Okay. Great. Well, and you live in this part of the town, so they will they will come up and give you some lessons and uh, for six weeks, and then when you finish, will you come back? Absolutely. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Okay, we got a job for this That's dog. That's good. Excellent. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back. Here's a quick tip for helping your dogs maintain a normal body temperature throughout the summer season. Provide cool water pools for them to hop into. Plastic baby pools are great. Also, new plastic cement mixing tubs are very inexpensive and sturdy. Provide plenty of fresh water daily, keeping buckets and pools in a shaded area. If you have a covered patio, provide your dog with a comfortable blanket or bed. And remember folks, the heat you feel is twice as hard on your pet. Imagine if you were this dog, wouldn't you be confused by this man's action? What could this animal have done to deserve being abandoned? Left alone, vulnerable to traffic on roads and highways, exposed to harsh weather, the list of dangers for this dog is infinite. Please, if you can't keep your pet, call your local animal shelter and your local rescue for help. Find them on the internet or call information. And please, don't dump your pets. Hey Dog Talk fans, make sure you join the conversation on social media. Just go to facebook.com slash dogtalktv. We'd love to hear a story of your furry friend, so send us an email to pat at dogtalktv.com. You could be featured as our Dog of the Week. Now, enjoy the show. A1 Pet Emporium is Oklahoma's authority on healthy nutrition for dogs and cats. Quality does not have to cost more, and we only have the best. If your pet suffers from allergies, digestive issues, skin infections, or hair loss, it may be the result of their diet. A1 Pet Emporium can help. We offer pet portraits monthly, adorable rescue animals every Saturday from noon to four, and free dog and cat food samples. Locally owned and operated, we want to be your neighborhood pet store. So recently, my friend Pam Myers was here and had a beautiful portrait because she is a fantastic photographer. And I got the idea of having kind of a contest for someone who wanted a portrait of their dogs by a great photographer like this. So, Rusty, how are you today? I'm great. No, this is fantastic. <laughs> I, I remember the episode. I remember all your work, and it was just it was just really cool to see. And it's like, I want my dog to be done, and I didn't win. What yeah. happened, Pat? Exactly. Well, obviously, Rhonda did. Rhonda, how are you? I'm fine. Rhonda you. has been on before. I think everyone will recognize her. She's these wonderful <laughs> little fox terriers that she has that are so precious. <laughs> they are so precious. And today... You have brought it. This is a female that yeah. we had the male on the last time. Yes. What was his name? Lewis. Lewis. That was Lewis. And Lewis is so talented. I remember that. So this one's name is what? Sarah Jane. Sarah Jane. I love it. I love the name. So then you, after when you heard about the contest, you got in touch with Pam. And uh, I said, be sure and tell a story. And every, of course, she probably knew you, probably from, you know, you're kind of famous around here with these little terriers. So uh, she then did this portrait for you. So are you excited? I'm very excited. I hope well, I don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to give Pam the honor of showing her picture here to you. Would you like to see it? I'd love to see it. OK, okay. let's do this. <laughs> is that beautiful or what? Can we get Sarah, a good picture of that? I hope we have <laughs> placed it right there. Who is that, Sarah? Yeah, it is a it is a wonderful, wonderful picture. Oh, it's beautiful. So, thank you, Pam. What gave you the inspiration for this? She's standing kind of on a rock, but tell us how you do this. Well, I mean, I always go to their home first and do a little bit of a consultation, kind of see what different things I have to work with, 
And then the day of the session, we also will walk around and I will voice some of my ideas. And my daughter who works with me will also uh, chime in. And she had this beautiful little garden out front of her house, had all these rocks and stuff. And so we tried several different things and uh, we took quite a few different portraits and poses of her, but this <laughs> happened to be her, her favorite. Well, you know, obviously Sarah Jane has had some training from her mother who is so experienced here, her owner. So she posed beautifully. How did you get her to do that? Treats. <laughs> <laughs> she works for treats. She works for treats, I understand. Definitely. Well, this is a beautiful, beautiful picture, and we are so proud. You know, Pam, you do an exceptional work, and uh, we you. are so pleased. If, if when, when you leave, uh, can I have it for a little while? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Just until... <laughs> no, yeah. no, no. It is definitely yours, and we are so pleased to do that. Well, are you ready for another contestant? Sure. I'd be happy to do it again. Okay, folks, the next person, just step right up. How do they get in touch with you? They can email me at info at imagineifphoto.com. There you go. And uh, then we will see what happens next. So keep us involved and keep us uh, alerted, and we will, uh, we will definitely present that way. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break, folks, and we'll be right back. A1 Pet Emporium is Oklahoma's authority on healthy nutrition for dogs and cats. Quality does not have to cost more, and we only have the best. If your pet suffers from allergies, digestive issues, skin infections, or hair loss, it may be the result of their diet. A1 Pet Emporium can help. We offer pet portraits monthly, adorable rescue animals every Saturday from noon to four, and free dog and cat food samples. Locally owned and operated, we want to be your neighborhood pet store. Hi, I'm Dr. Jean Sander, Dean for the Center for Veterinary Health Sciences at Oklahoma State University. The beds of pickup trucks are intended to haul stuff. Using that part of the truck to give joy rides to children or pets is a really bad idea. Please, don't do it. Hi, I'm Dr. Ken Bartles. This is my dog, Spencer. He and I go hunting as often as we can. When we do go out in the pickup, he rides in the cab. He's never in the bed of the pickup truck, never. The pickup bed is for my stuff, not for my dog. Spencer stays with me. I'm Dr. Lars Sipneski. Your dog may think it's cool to ride loose in the bed of your pickup truck, but he's a dog and he doesn't think about the consequences. Do you? No one, no one can guarantee you that your pet won't jump out, fall out, or be injured traveling loose in the bed of your pickup truck. It's not cool, it's stupid. I'm Dr. McKernan with the Small Animal Surgery Service at Oklahoma State University, and I'm here to invite you to view these images from dogs that have fallen out of the back of pickup trucks. Injuries sustained including pelvic fractures, leg fractures, a broken back, all because their owners decided to let them ride in the back of a pickup truck. This is completely preventable. There really needs to be a law against this. I hope we've impressed upon you how serious we feel here at Oklahoma State on why dogs should not ride in the backs of the pickup trucks. It's a serious problem that we see across the country. Over 100,000 animals are injured each year. Just don't do it. Please, don't do it. It's not cool. It's stupid. There really needs to be a law against this. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. You know, owning a dog is an enormous responsibility. Whether you are raising a puppy or whether you adopt an older dog, there's a lot of care involved. When you bring a dog home, be sure that it's the kind of dog that's gonna fit in with your family. And remember this, you are a trainer to your dog. Every day that you interact with your dog on any level, you're teaching him something about himself, about you, and about the world around him. Be sure it's something good. Every year, families in Oklahoma unknowingly spend hundreds of thousands of dollars in support of neglect, abuse, and disease. When you buy a puppy from a parking lot or flea market, you could be supporting the cruelty of puppy mills that profit from dogs bred in abusive conditions. Help us stop the cycle. To learn how, 
go to roomtolove.org. Uh, welcome back, Pat. Um, you, we go to the Oklahoma City Animal Shelter every month, so you win again, and what do you have for us? Well, this is wonderful because this time, each month we go down to the Oklahoma City Animal Shelter and we interview a dog, mm -hmm. and this time it was puppies. It oh, was no. Puppies. You're uh, just going to love gonna this. Love <laughs> Watch this. John. Hey, Pat, how are you? We are here to do our interview with the dog of the month. So you have a story for us? Yes, I got a couple puppies I'd love to show you. Oh, puppies, I love puppies. Let's go see. Let's go. Tarita Becker, you have got a great job today. I have the best job ever, always. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and it's so good to see you. Now, we have to, we'll have to say you are not my sister. Right. But having the same name, people kind of get it associated. And uh, if I had one, I'd choose you. <laughs> <laughs> so this job is fantastic. Now your real job is what? Um, I'm the administrative specialist here at Animal Welfare. I am the program manager for all of our community programs and I'm the HR person. Yes, and that works so well, yes. And you are so cute. So these puppies came in at the same time. Mm -hmm. And yep. uh, have you given them names? This is Penny and this is Pearl. Penny and Pearl. Well, Pearl is adorable. Yes. You're adorable, Pearl. Did you know that? She said, yes, when you picked me up, I got a little bit concerned, so I'm going to be more quiet here. <laughs> um, second thought, maybe not. And what a precious pickle. These dogs are adorable. They're approximately how old? Well, I think they're best going to be about a couple months old, so about eight weeks, eight to nine weeks. Yes, so they're going to be a pretty good sized dog from the size of their paws and, and everything, and they are a mix, undoubtedly, which is, look how beautifully she is conformed here. Very, very nice. <laughs> Puppies inherit kind of a square, you know, uh, frame, and uh, all of this, as they say, jewelry with the white on them. Oh, yes, you are so cute. And you're the penny. You're the little penny. Yes, you are. So they came in how, how long ago? They, five days yeah, ago. it's about five days. So they came in together. Obviously, as I say, they look like they're of the same litter and all. So what, what, what's going to happen to them now? Well, we will evaluate them for our adoption program, which these guys will probably do just fine. Our veterinary staff will determine whether or not they'll need foster, whether they can uh, get them processed right away, and then we'll make them available for adoption. So when will they be spayed? They're both females. But they should be done within the next couple of days. Fantastic. And that, that is a biggie because, you know, gosh, it is part of the problem if people would spay and neuter. Well, these dogs are so precious and so adoptable. Yes, you are. And I just love it. At this age, their minds are so open. They are curious. They are friendly. They are happy dogs. So it's really important that a person or a family who adopts these dogs maybe gets a little help from trainers, you know, because this is a good time at this age to start teaching them, you know, that they don't chew on your hands, that you can even teach them to lead, you know. You can even teach dogs this age tricks. And it's just, it's just exceptional uh, to keep them happy and to keep a family happy to, to have them. They don't get into as much trouble. Of course, they're gonna chew a few things and they're gonna go through their puppy stage. But, you know, by training them, it will eliminate so many problems. Jarita, are these adorable? They are precious. We brought them here to highlight them today to talk about our foster program. Tell me. We are starting our puppy and kitten season, and we will just be overwhelmed with puppies and kittens pretty soon. And we like to get the ones we can out to our fosters. Um, so what we ask is that People sign up to be foster parents for us, and they come in and they foster puppies or kittens. It could be adult dogs or cats too, um, but we provide everything they need. We give them food, we give them bedding, we give them litter if they're taking cats. We provide all the medical services for them. Um, they just provide the love and, and, and care and, and temporary housing. That is so important because folks, it's, uh, you take a little puppy like this into your house or an older dog and into your house and you just make them a member of your family. And it's not your dog, it belongs to this facility, 
but they will place the dog for you. So, uh, of course, there are a lot of foster figures out there when the dog has <laughs> become so important to the family that you keep them, and that is special too. But it is not an obligation. You know, it is a pleasure, it is an opportunity. And I just think that's a wonderful thing. Fosters are the foundation, you know, of finding dogs a home. It's so an amazing program. It is amazing program. And every time we send a foster puppy or cat or, or animal out to a foster home, we open a kennel for another animal. To exactly. Be oh, that's it's a very a important program. It really, it really, really is. We need to get these dogs a toy. <laughs> Besides my hands? <laughs> Besides your hands? He says, did I do something? Yes, you are so cute. You are so cute. Well, John, Jarita, thank you so much. We thank so you. enjoy these little monthly meetings. I get to see so many of the precious animals out here, and doggies especially. <laughs> oh, I'm having a hard time letting these go. <laughs> no, 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 I can't do that. Someday, someday I will come down and redo all of my stock. That would be good. So, we thank you so much, and we will see you next month. Great. Thank you. Thank you. That was great. Hey, Pat, now you can't go. Oh, you, we, we, I you might, really you was going to exit the whole scene here and go down and grab that puppy. But no, 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 I can't. I really can't. I know uh, that there are some viewers out there that will provide a fantastic home. For oh, absolutely. The, I, both of those puppies will be gone. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they're gone now, probably, with yeah. great homes, great right. forever homes. So we're grateful for that. Folks, we've had a super, super time today. I hope that you have, too. If you have any ideas of things you'd like to see, things you'd like to explore, let us know because we will check into it for you. Rusty, you take care. I will. And uh, we will see you guys next week. about big dogs, uh-huh, talking about little dogs, oh yeah, chasing the ball, chasing the cat, digging hole, thing like that, dogs, talking about dogs, laughing dogs, sad dogs, happy dogs, mad dogs, dogs, just talking about dogs, lost and alone, running the street, checking the garbage, looking to eat. Out there sad and on their own The law will get them if they got no home Dogs Talk about dogs Dogs We're talking about dogs You say they were angels sent from above Then a year or two later you fell out of love You dumped them man and kicked them out Now what the heck was that about? Dogs We're talking about dogs Dogs them poor little dogs, talking about big dogs, uh-huh, talking about a little dog, oh yeah, chasing the ball, chasing the cat, digging the hole, things like that, dogs, we're talking about dogs, laughing dogs.